All Eyes on Fishing with Mitch Peterson, Josh Sheldon, and Brad Qualley leading you to the next level. Hey everybody, welcome back to All Eyes on Fishing. We got a fun one tonight. It yeah. is going to be fun. I, yeah, I, when we were sitting here getting ready to talk about this, I uh, yeah, it's, you, it's fun. Yeah, we, Mitch, we, Mitchell brought it up. Big Mitch coming uh, coming in with the home run. Big idea. Big Mitch. Yeah, big, yeah. Big, big, bigger all the time. Fat Mitch. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fat boy Mitch. No. no, so no. Listen, I didn't say that. that a was lot. Yeah. A lot of times, <clears throat> a lot of times we end up picking a lot of our topics because people email us in. You know, they'll hit us up on Instagram, whatever. Yeah. Say hey. You know, and a lot of a lot of stuff. But tonight, Mitch Mitch was talking about that he, he's had this debate with some folks uh, that have asked him questions. I didn't get it, but I, I can totally understand the question: yeah. Is it luck, or is there skill involved yeah. in fishing? So that's a nice topic: luck versus <laughs> skill. Is, is it lucky, or is it skill? Yeah, or is it a in combo honor of the beginning what? of football season, <laughs> luck versus right. skill. It sounds that's like a, two quarterbacks going at it. <laughs> it's your Broncos. They're hoping for some luck on You're, Saturday. Well, yeah. We're Vikings, hoping. Broncos in Minnesota. Yeah. Well, that's okay. Preseason yeah. game number yeah, it's one. A big one. Broncos got to play a... a trash game every once in a while to keep it real. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys don't know, Mitch is a huge Vikings fan. They know. Which we don't yeah. uh, hold that against him too much <laughs> other than the fact that he sells Girl Scout cookies on his days off when he watches the Vikings. It's a, it's a, you know, it's a living. Yeah. You know, it's a living. You your, your jokes, <laughs> that's where it's luck versus skill. That's where luck comes in. Sometimes you will throw out a good one, but I think it's I'm luck. still waiting. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. What are you, you, you don't about? have very good joke. Hey, skills. hey and, and let's officially uh, uh, wish Brad happy tr- happy new truck day. Brad's happy new truck day. Happy, happy new truck day, Brad. Right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Brad pulled the trigger and bought himself a new truck. Yeah. Congratulations. I was lucky. Yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> that was luck. There was no luck. skill involved no, in that, sure, one. that Yeah. You don't need skill to go buy something. You no. just need to sign. Yeah. <laughs> well, the luck was is you married up. Mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, Mitch and I married for looks and you married for money. So we got it. We got it. Whoa, whoa, dude. No, you, I got a double. Sorry, I got, man, I got both. Yeah. The, the thing that's great I'm is joking, our, joking. our wives probably don't listen no, to these anyway. Really, so. yeah. Yeah. It's funny to us, just but the, they're not listening. Yeah. 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 No, it's, no one's getting in trouble. No, no one's getting <laughs> in trouble. It's just pretty funny. Yeah. Well, so anyway, let's dive into it. Yeah, let's go. Let's get started on it. Okay, uh, so start us off, Mitch. So Doug Stangy, he's got a definition the great. of luck. The great, yeah. And, and I really do like his definition of luck. Most people have probably heard it, but it's when preparedness meets opportunity. Yeah, and I tell you, that yeah, that's interesting. I, I like that. I, I like that. You yeah, because 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 that's the thing. You know, we're, we've all hunted big fish. We'll say right. Yeah, and sure enough, I mean, you got to put in the time. But then when you when you do get your opportunity. You know, that's when, you know, a lot of your skills come in. You're not held up. You didn't blow it. You didn't got it in the net. Boat control. You know, all, that all that stuff <clears throat> comes into play where you were ready for that big fish. Yeah. I mean, and, you know, we've all caught big fish probably on a Snoopy pole at one time or another. Where, yeah, <laughs> that is luck. I think that yours was Wonder Woman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I do like that definition. Yeah, uh, no, it is. It's true. It's true. And and for me, I, when I look at luck versus skill, I think about... Um, and we've all seen it. If you do any sort of tournament fishing, you got that. You got those teams that always seem to be near the top. And you ask yourself, are they just that much better, or are they that that much luckier? <laughs> right? And, and you, you, you mean, and we've we've been in tournaments with these people where they'll fish not far from you, and you come in with twelve pounds, and they come in with twenty eight, yep. and you're like, how? And you know what they're doing. You're watching them cast the same 28, stuff. Yeah. 28. Yeah, 28. 28.89. Yeah, point eight nine. And the guys next to us, blank. Yeah. <laughs> yep. That was a lot of skill, actually, in that yeah. situation. Yeah, there was no luck involved there. <laughs> uh, but, it's, but it's true, right? I mean, you can fish um, not necessarily a, you know, I mean, not doing anything in particular that's great, right? I mean, it's not some super duper presentation. They're all kind of close to the same. So, is it luck that you got pushed in or slid into the the fish that were in the very very shallow, or was it skill that you knew how to get them out of the weeds? 
Right. We, we went in there on purpose. There was no. Well, I know you went on purpose, but you know what I mean. <laughs> I mean, it was like, here's the deal. We, we, we were, we, we were lucky pre-fishing that those fish were there and we found them. Yeah. That, that, that is lucky. It, 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 that part was luck. I mean, we, we did what we did to, to go see if they were there. Right. And yeah, luckily they were there. So th- there was luck. There was like spot sure. five on our run for the, on the morning trying to figure out where these fish were. Though. Right. So our first four spots, one of them produced some fish, but it wasn't like what we were looking for. But the, that fifth spot, once we got there and the fish were there, it was lucky that we ended up there, but we had a plan to try different, different structure. Bam, bam, bam. We so the ended skill up was getting you there. The luck was having the them fi- be there. The fish was there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and. Probably there's also luck in we chose the right presentation that got them to go because we could easily throw in, let's say, jerk baits or, and, or, or whatever, whatever and not had, had them go. Right. And we happened to have the, the, the right size jig on that got us that first bite. Yeah. And then we could start narrowing it yeah. down to what's Well, there working. were guys all around you that had kind of tried to, you know, push in on you a little or figure out what you were doing and. They didn't do it. <clears throat> no. Mm-hmm. So there is a little bit of skill involved there. I hate to admit it because, you know, neither one of you could pour piss out of a boot with the instructions on the heel, but. Yeah, I could. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just make that up right now? I don't think anybody's ever heard that. You couldn't pour piss out of a boot with that instruction. <laughs> no, that's, a, that's, a good, that's a good old cowboy uh, saying. Of but, Wyoming. Yeah, yeah, yeah cowboy yeah. saying, yeah. But, um, no, I'm just, you know, I mean, that was it. But the, the, the interesting part is what if we... Um, Fish right next to each other, the exact same spot, <coughs> and you guys catch more off the right side than I do off the left. No, that's exactly it. I mean, there, you know, any type, of, any kind of fishing, there is definitely luck involved, right? There's got yeah. to be, but to be consistent, you got to have more skill. That's the way I think yeah. about it. Well, so let's look at it, the difference between the two of you in the same boat. I like know, but I was that. going to say, but and go yeah. ahead. I yeah, know well, you're just going. Your, you you had uh, before we went on air. Yeah, you had a little bit more of a touch or a feeling about how to catch those fish in those weeds than Mitch did. Like you, you had something a little bit more figured out in the very first when you guys pulled up, mm-hmm. you know, if you mm-hmm. listen to our, some of our prior podcasts, we talk about that tournament. Mm-hmm. You, you, you had something just, you were, you were catching the fish first. Well, I think I sight fish more than Mitch does. And that's what was helping me. Yeah. 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 I sight fish my watch my line more. Yeah. You know, that was it. I yeah. mean, well, what, what, what's <laughs> weird is like, say Brad and I fish a lot of death, right? So say we're pulling death, and it's happened many times where one day, guess what? Mitch is on fire. My two rods are going nuts. His are sitting there getting dusty. Yeah. It's like, well, what's going on? They're set up the exact same way. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, and and it's not just that shoreline. You know, it's every spot we go to. It's like, what's the deal? I'm hot today, and I'm, you know, a lot of times in a tournament, it's like, keep catching them. We'll just keep nothing. Yeah, right. I'm good with it. Yeah. 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 Um, But then, you know. Later on that day or, or the next time we're out, boom, it might flip. Yeah. It could be and two hours later. All of a sudden, mine yeah, turn on. So right. we didn't like, I didn't retie up. I didn't change my presentation. We kept it the same. Right. But all of a sudden, one starts going. And I right. think there, there, there's some luck to that. That or I, I guess I don't know. Or is well, it skill? Well, I, I don't know. Un- unexplained why it's Well, happening. but that's, that's when all of the uh, peripheral factors start to come into play. Is it color? Am I using the right colors? Am I? If no, you're, I'm talking, dude. We are the exact same everything. No, but that's what I'm saying is, you. I mean, you can't be exactly, exactly, right? There's going to be something. You tied your leader, and you don't realize that you maybe tied it a foot longer. Maybe that's why. Sure. Or, they, yeah. right, you oh, see yeah, I, got, I, mean, I see what you're saying. Like, all those or, 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 things start to come into your mind. And or like, because the heck? I think a lot of it, and what I've paid attention to, is a lot of time it's the side of the boat. And a lot of times when we're pulling a line, especially a long line, I'll have Mitch on the inside, you know, like shore side. Yeah. And I'm on the outside. So I think that has to come into it, too, is my fish, if we're pulling a structure like a break. Yeah. That I might be just a foot or two deeper, and those fish are reacting better, or vice versa. Mitch's are, yeah, or Mitch because a foot or because two the wind is there. blowing out, and I keep turning in, so now it's dropping his a little bit slower. Yeah, you know. Mm-hmm. So I think that that has something to do with mm-hmm. it. So that becomes something a skill that you can learn because you're like, okay, hey, listen, and we've done this multiple times. Right. Every time I turn in, we're pulling at point eight. Every time I turn in, coming back up that break, you're picking up fish. Yeah. Yeah. There's something to it, and that's why it's not mm-hmm. because I'm doing anything different. Right. It's because that bait is getting presented 
different. Mine's riding higher. Mine's on the outside of the boat. So it's it's probably now at point nine, and his is a point seven. Wow. You know what I mean? Yeah. It makes a difference. Yeah. Well, and, and I think we should probably explain and apologize right now for uh, it is the Brad. Uh, oh, actually, it's the Mitch, Josh, and Kermit the Frog show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, should I'm be confident to deal with me? The frog, I'm telling you. Well. <laughs> I'm telling you, we were going to take two days ago, <laughs> and I couldn't even talk. I was, which would probably have been a better. Well, show. the more, yeah, <laughs> right. the, more, the more we talk, the more your voice is. Brad was deathly ill, and uh, no, it was not the uh, COVID. The great four tests COVID, later. Oh my god! Um, which they tried very hard to say it was, but it wasn't. And he's just sick and gives Kermit the Frog voice. Mm-hmm. I had bronchitis, and it just lost my voice. Kermit yeah. likes to fish. Yeah, Kermit does like to fish. Miss <laughs> Piggy. <laughs> Shut up, dude. dude, dude Again. Do it. <laughs> no, I, can't. I can't do it on demand. It's that, a tough voice. That was pretty good. <laughs> I mean, don't encourage okay. him. Just do it whenever you want to. Mitch and I are having fun. Brad is over there. And he's, he's Brad sick. Yeah, Brad sick. Yeah. No, nope, not no. sick anymore. Just don't have a voice. That's so how said. about, and, and we, we've probably <laughs> talked about this too, and everybody has seen this where, so say a, a number five a perch flicker shad or fire tiger flicker shad is the hot bait. So what do you do? You throw a few on, right? Right. Yeah. And, but, but it's just that one, you yeah, know, fire step. tiger. Yep. Well, and we've all kind of narrowed that down that there's something with the it's action. Tuned just a little bit yep. different. Something's yep. going on. Yeah. And, Hooks and or something. So, so you can, it, that's not skill or luck, but because we can identify really what what's causing that bait to get bit versus the others not really and th- and that's kind of the hidden thing with is it luck or skill yeah is there is there's sometimes where you you don't really know i mean we don't want to say it's skill but was it just luck i mean it, it can get into right. some, you can really get into the woods with it because way into the woods yeah. and start second guessing yourself like man well i and and that's where i i think i always go back to stangy's saying and why it makes so much sense to me is like yeah i want to be i want to be the luckiest guy out there on the lake but i also want to have the right yeah i want to be prepared i want to be doing the best presentation right. for right then for those fish well, my knots got to hold i'm gonna you know the right. drag's gotta be set right you know down the line there's several times too i mean that that we have <laughs> dialed into something like when we're pulling death and all four are going it's just yeah. one rod, the left rod, middle rod. I mean, they're just going nonstop, right? Yeah. So we've dialed that in. That's definitely a skill. But when you have those four rods out there, talk about this, when the bite is slow and you're running death. Can we, let's say, I don't know why you keep talking about death, but we're running death and you're like, it's been 10 minutes and nothing. All of a sudden it loads up. Mm-hmm. What is that? Is that because you had patience or is that skill or luck now? that something ended up finally biting it because you haven't developed a pattern. Mitch sacrificed right. a chicken on the back of the boat. He's like, oh, it's been 20 minutes. Cut his head off. Do it. No, it wasn't funny. <laughs> Be quiet, Kermit. <laughs> Stop it, Kermit. <laughs> there, <there's... laughs> idiot. God. How did I get stuck in here with you idiots? <laughs> but you know what I mean? How, what do you guys think of that? Uh, I mean, when it's slow and then all of a sudden something picks up. Well, was that lucky at that time? Yeah, I think it was you lucky. start getting more yeah, luck then. Yeah, it's lucky. Yeah. I mean, and especially when you do those long pulls. Like, if you're mm-hmm. going to work a whole shoreline and you've got two and a half miles or something, and you, especially if you're doing something a slower presentation like death, I think there's a lot of luck that comes into it. Because you're, you know, for the most part, unless you've really identified that magic depth, you're kind of coming in a little, you're going out, you're, you know, 12 feet, 18 feet, no. maybe 22 yeah. feet. No. Why? If you've identified an, an area, I said unless you've oh, identified okay. it, like yeah. you're working a shoreline and it's a couple mile pull, um, you know, a lake like Pueblo where it's it can be really steep and it, you know sharp and it could be rocky uh, like a sharp drop. And uh, the skill or comes the in is when you start picking up fish you... and you identify. Okay, that's 17 foot. We yeah. pick. I don't know how many times. I'm sure you do this when you and Eric are on there. Okay, hey, what'd that come on? Yeah. Okay, I when I dropped down and we're at 14.6. Right. That fish came when we were at, at 17. Right. Okay, so I was I was up two and a half feet. Let's keep that in mind that I, I was raised up two and a half. Right. Feet. You yeah. know what I mean? You no, do that sorry. all all yeah. the time. Yeah. Every time you drop down, the first thing you do is drop down, let it hit, take a look at your depth. Yeah. Okay, that was at thirteen point nine. <laughs> right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No. Yeah. And I think that's the part where, you know, you you are paying attention. I think a lot of people who fish don't pay attention. Yeah. Right. I mean, oh, yeah, now they're but that's they're how I think you take the luck out of it. That you do. You take I the think luck that's out how of you it. get more skill. Yeah. Just. Just paying attention to what's going on around you, and and it's all about, um, you know, uh, reproducing what you did, mm-hmm. right? It's like, okay, I've reeled up, now I'm going to reproduce what just caught that fish. I think 
good fishermen and fishermen that understand or, or do better than others, I think they're better at just reproducing what they've done. You get better reproducing what you've done in the past. You get better reproducing what you're doing 10 minutes ago because you caught you caught fish. Perfect example. I had my daughter. Me and my daughter went out probably five weeks ago. You know, so you can have four rods. You can run four, right? Yeah. yeah. You know, because so, you can run two in Colorado. Yeah. She's, she wants to go fishing. Yeah. But she's really out there for the sun. But she's, you get she's two more She's playing rods. on her TikTok or whatever the yeah. whole time. And she's fishing. I mean, she's actively doing it. Right. But I'll watch her drop down. <clears throat> and it'll be like 15 feet. She'll drop it down. I have her doing it. And then we'll be pulling. And she's playing on her phone. And now we're in 19 feet of water. And she hasn't adjusted. <laughs> and I'm like, adjust, honey. Adjust. She's like, why? I, we dropped four feet. So I'll reach over, and she's like, oh, okay. Yeah. It's so. it's um, it's um interesting. I've done Well, so you do that with your little kids. Right. Well, you do that with little kids, right? You take your little kids out. Little kids. No, like, I do that with you. Well, that's not necessarily <laughs> always true. Just just on the days where I can't catch them, why which is not on, often. Why are you, what are you doing? You're shining a light on me. Well... <laughs> Spotlights on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it's gonna break. Look, look, I've got a good situation. So, how many times in, in tournaments? Because this has happened to Brad and I a lot. I know it's happened to you too, Junior. Right. Um, you know, you, you, we've got our spots, right? Say so we've got five, six spots that we're working over. We found them pre-fishing, and come tournament time, yep, where we might be hitting a few spots, right? And it's like, yeah, let's let's go back to Yuma. Let's go hit Yuma one more time while we're up here just to check it or whatever. And we go back to Yuma and bam, we, we nail a great fish. Yeah. Right. And so what was that? Boy, lucky we went back to Yuma, right? Right. Um, or geez, we're so lucky that a fish was sitting there when we went back and we got it. Right. Mm-hmm. So is that luck? Um, or is it really skill that we know? that those spots hold fish and they cycle in and out and they're, you know, if we sat there all day long, yeah, we might have four or five, six different groups of fish come in. And if you're there, you might get a bite. Mm-hmm. If you're not, you know, of course you're not gonna, but we, that skill of ours is to find the spot and then know to go back to it and reproduce and, it and check it. Yep, yeah. Yep. Replicate it. And so, yeah, w- it was lucky we went back there and there's a fish there, but really it was because of our skills of how we go after them. A lot of times, I think is would take some of the credit for that. Sure, and and I think, I think at the end of the day, what would you say the percentage is? At the end of the day, is it seventy percent skill, thirty percent luck? Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna say probably eighty percent skill. I, I was eighty twenty. Yep. You would go eighty yeah. twenty. Yeah, so the and the only the only reason I say that is because when I take folks out, I mean. I got a lot of good friends that like to go fishing. They don't like to do it like crazy like we do, right? right. They want to go once or twice a year, and of course they're always like, "Dude, take me fishing!" Right? Yeah. I mean, you get the same thing. Yeah. Oh yeah. And you go out there, and let's say it's a Lindy rig bite. That's the best time is in late May, early June when the when it's just going nuts to take someone out that doesn't get to fish much and just put them on them. Right. But you're Lindy rigging, so you show them how to do it. You tie it up. You show them how what we're doing, how to you know with the bail and all that stuff. And next thing you know, you've got ten, and they've got one. Right. And you're you're and you're doing everything like you're driving, you're wet fishing. All they're doing is holding the rod, so they have a lot of time. So it's because we've done it. You you do get that skill, yeah, right. So yeah, you're right. No, you know, I, that, and that's a that's a great example of skill over luck. I mean, yeah. you know, and they're in, and they're getting bit. They just don't know it. They don't know it, or they, may, yeah, or they miss it. You know, how many times? And that's the hardest part too. <laughs> Uh, teaching your kids how to fish, right? Like you have a, a, a your son or daughter, and and they're seven or eight. It's cool when they yeah. get it, though. Yeah, oh, it is. When so they get it, you're like, dude. <laughs> yeah, but when they're trying to, uh, you know, when you're trying to teach them how to jig fish, we all know that you're bouncing across the bottom, and they're like, "Ooh, I got one! Ooh, I got one! Ooh, I got yeah. one!" And you're like, "No, oh, you're hitting the bottom." Nine, nine, yep. Now you're hitting the bottom. Um, or how but, many bare hooks do you have to throw a new crawler on? Right. Yeah. They, yeah. they got jigged. They got yeah. They got taken. <laughs> they <But> missed them. <laughs> I can remember. I can remember pretty clearly when I started to figure that out as a kid. It's a light switch, dude. It is because all of a sudden it's like, oh no, no, no that was a fish. Like it's a like electric. There, you know what I mean? It's almost like it's yeah, electricity you, coming up the line instead of that, mm-hmm. you know, that just that dragging grab. Grab, yeah. Yeah. So, and even that tick of it hitting a rock is different than the tick of tick a fish. Of a fish. Yeah. And, and you know, it's it's perfect because I was I was fishing with my dad out at Cherry Creek when I had that slip out there, right? Mm-hmm. We went out there and fished and we were Lindy rigging. And my dad always struggled with Lindy, loved doing it. And we did it for 
years out there. And I'm like, Dad, come on, bud. Mm -hmm. Let's get it. Yeah. And it was probably like year four or five. We were out there one afternoon and way past, I mean, when the prime is. This is when we could get out there. Mm -hmm. And we're catching fish. And he's like, oh, I missed one. Oh, he's getting frustrated. Once he finally, he was like, oh, once he got it, he was on it. Yeah. Yeah. And then he caught like, I don't remember, like seven or eight in an hour, which was yeah, awesome. Starts, yeah. yeah, he yeah. finally, he's like, oh, there's one. I got, yeah. oh, that's another one. You know what I mean? Yeah. It was so cool to see that switch go. Where you can yeah. feel that electricity. And it's hard it's to just, explain yeah. to somebody. It, is. it yeah. really is a difficult thing to explain to them. And, On that type of bike. Yes. Yeah. Yep. And yep. It, so many, and like I said, I think so many people um, attribute fishing to luck. And you will see a lot of people, um, whether it be from shore, boat, whatever, uh, where they go and they just kind of throw that bad boy out there and it's either the luck if one swims by and bites it or they don't. Mm -hmm. And I know that a lot of us uh, who listen and us three for sure, uh, it's it's you, there um, is you force them to bite. There is luck involved, right? Yeah. But that's why I think it's probably 80% skill, 20% luck. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm just making that. I have no well, way. Others, that, that's the other thing. That other saying, I'd rather be lucky than good. Yeah. I'd rather uh, be good. I'd rather, yeah, no. Uh, uh. 80% of the time, I'll catch some. Right. You know, right. rather than just leaving it up to luck. Right. No, and there's always a little something different. You can sit there, and we've done it numerous times between, you know, the three of us, where we'll both troll in an area, cranks, on boards. Nothing different. We pre-fish. We all have our plan. We've all talked about it. We all know we're doing something. We're all doing it fairly similar. But there'll be one little adjustment that we will make between mm -hmm. the two boats mm -hmm. where one boat will catch more than the other. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And, and run in the same lines. Yep. And, you know, um, we've done it a lot of times. I mean, tons mm -hmm. of times where it's something simple like, hey, dude, I took off my, my quick clip and direct tide and it just changed a little bit. <laughs> yep. like, it really is. It's, you're like, it's something that it. small. But that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. and that's the attention to detail piece, right? Mm -hmm. So I think the moral of the whole luck versus skill story is there are all those little small things that you can pay attention to detail to that might change your luck because you have better skill. Yeah. Ooh, I like that. You like that? Change your luck. Change, change well, your luck. Well, here's the thing. And I think that... With skill. Uh, anybody, and we'll wrap up here in a minute, but well, anybody, that goes, anybody that goes uh, out there and is fishing, go. right, they, even if it is lucky, yeah. the only way you're going to get that skill is to keep doing it. So even if you are out there and you're, right. you're learning the, the skill mm -hmm. of fishing, yeah. Keep going at it because start paying attention to what you're doing right. because you yeah. will get better at it. Well, you will. And you re will. remember, the month of June is full of a lot more luck than the month of uh, August. So, you know, <laughs> like it seems like the luck is overflowing in June, you know. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of, yeah, you have to break out your skills here in August. Yeah, yeah. And in August, it's more of a skill bite. But in June, everybody's got some pretty yeah. decent luck. So, mm -hmm. um, and that's part of it too, right? That's yeah. part of the skill piece is mm -hmm. knowing when's the best time to go and yeah. where to go and stuff like that. So, yeah. Yep. It very, uh, very good. I thought I turned that off from the last time. No. If you heard that, it's this computer making noise again. Hey, but everybody from All Eyes on Fishing, we'd like to thank you uh, for listening to us. Make sure that you're checking us out on the next level. I'm going to let Mitch say it because my voice is sucky. Okay. You can find us on the next level at aeof.supercast.tech. Yeah, that's right. That was yeah. very good there, Kermit the Pop. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny the first two times. <laughs> I don't know. We're both still laughing. It's pretty. It's still pretty funny. It's still pretty good. Uh, I, we, well, I find it annoying. Do you see his face? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> there is no Kermit impersonations on the next level? No. No. No, 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 no the next We level. don't make you pay for that. No. <laughs> hey, everybody, we do appreciate. Those are free. <laughs> we appreciate everybody. Everybody uh, uh, listening to us and, and those that do subscribe, sending your friends over there. Yep. Check out our website at alleyesonfishing.com. Yep. And uh, if you want to hear a podcast or you want to correspond with us, alleyesonfishing at gmail.com. Yep. Uh, we'll get back to you. We, we use a lot of our uh, podcasts from, from what the listeners want to hear. So yep. we do appreciate it, guys. Thanks a lot. This has been All Eyes on Fishing. Thanks for listening. If you like what you heard, go ahead and subscribe to The Next Level. And you can hear longer podcasts and more information on all of your favorite topics. And check us out at alleyesonfishing.com for apparel, blogs, and other information. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. All Eyes on Fishing, leading you to the next level.